creative thinking is extremely important in, uh, in both the ideation uh, stage but also during the final stage because we always have to solve problems along the whole process of a life cycle of a product or a service. And uh, if we don't get trained and utilize in a neuroscience approach uh, the capabilities and the weaknesses of our brain to make it work for our benefit means that our problem solving technique is not going to be up to the demands of today's needs of contemporary problems that we have to, to solve. That's why it's very important to have a high level of creative skills that we can use it in different levels of the life cycle of a product. I think it was a great opportunity for them and they actually they are, they are thirsty for that. And uh, the way I conclude that was very beneficial for them is how they realize how the game changed now, how businesses are not the traditional businesses that we had long before. And uh, this business now that they follow the, uh, the game theory, we play between infinite game, um, infinite game and also finite game. So this kind of exchange of uh, games that it happens now in the business, it demands new skills and new uh, tendencies that have to be conquered. And they, are, they feel that change is coming, actually change is here, and they have to adapt. And for that reason, uh, they pay extremely attention. As a matter of fact, it's the first time I have seen so much attention and effort uh, that was put into any kind of simulation, any kind of activity, any kind of challenge. They are thirsty for challenge, they are thirsty for uh, speed up the process of having creative solutions to existing problems. First of all, businesses now should be a set of values. And these values should have a set of interests. So actually, if we don't start from that, then we don't have an ecosystem on we, with which we can generate and create uh, new ideas, new products, new services that will be addressed to the customer. So in that case, uh, my advice is first train your team to utilize the machine that we carry along every day with us, our brain. We have to understand that if we don't find all possibilities that the brain can give us, if we don't understand how the brain can trick us and how we can trick the brain, we cannot have in-house production, that you can have the ownership of the ideas. That's the biggest challenge nowadays, ownership of the ideas. So if we are able to turn the companies into idea factories, that they can produce ideas, that they are feasible, doable, and I that they are compatible with the value system of the company and address to the uh, interest of, of the company, uh, then we will definitely talk about, um, how you say, a company that follows and does not lead. And now the market is more complex, so it needs small and big companies that can lead. And uh, now is the unique opportunity to have flexible uh, systems ecosystems within companies that they can lead both in the human resources inside the company but also at the community and the national and international level. Uh, the, the traditional type of business always try to secure a comfort zone in doing the business. Until seven years ago that was feasible to do it. You create your own comfort zone and you exist with that comfort zone. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, the risk is everywhere and nobody is excluded from the risk even, even if they act or don't act. So this is a liberating situation that uh, gives you the possibility to play with the risk a bit more wisely and you are more courageous to do that. 
And that's why new businesses, they have to have the skills to manage risk because the risk is there no matter if you want to be a protective economy within your company. Now, the, what is changing is that the players change all the time, technology changes all the time, and human resources the company change all the time. So we are in constant change, so we have to have a different mindset. And the mindset we need to focus is how we can use imagination first for the solution, first to imagine the solution before we even have the idea. We identify the problem, focus on the problem. Thank God we have plenty of problems. That means plenty of opportunities. And from the problem, after imagination, that we say training process, it's, 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 it's a, and it's how you say, it's, it's a learning curve that uh, is coming up the last five years that is uh, active this one. It's very useful for that one here. After the imagination process, we should go into the creative process that when we have creative solutions uh, to the problems. And uh, this will make it more sustainable. Imagination, creativity, with, along with what we call reverse engineering. And that's what makes the difference. In uh, NASA, they always use this reverse engineering approach. Actually, I was using this reverse engineering approach without understanding it. But it's very useful because you start without having all the barriers that we have our logic, put all the fears and all these obstacles we have before the solution. We go directly into the, a solution that actually would make the difference. And then we use creativity to solve all the little obstacles. So now it's imagination and creativity is not the same anymore. It's important. It's very important to introduce imagination and creativity as, as part of the skills that could focus on doable uh, prepositions, doable ideas that will save time in the implementation format. First of all, it was, uh, it was extremely unique opportunity that there was a lot of cross-discipline within all these four days. This cross-discipline, it actually does a good scenario of um, of, uh, of real situations and uh, the challenges were so many in so short time so it was very good because the brain actually really worked so I think now they have enough information and experience and curiosity especially curiosity to start introducing this into their own uh, companies and uh, and I think uh, uh, Grace Fear was uh, had a an A to Z approach to the contemporary uh, business doing nowadays. And uh, for some of them, though it was a bit of a shock, they, were, they really got engaged and they really gave the, the best for them. At the beginning, you have more progress because you are more behind, so they have more progress. And they will definitely be able to apply this, and I'm sure they will have uh, gains uh, on a short-term basis. I'm very soon, I'm sure they will get the fruits of the results of this uh, wonderful training they had with Grace Fear.